So let's go ahead and practice fire breath. So seki lines, again, are similar but different than grounding cords. So we can drop grounding cords by visualizing um, a cord dropping down from our hips or dropping down out of our the base of our spine and going all the way down into the earth. So we're going to go ahead and practice that now. Visualizing that cord, the grounding cord first, dropping down all the way into the center of the earth. And we're just going to set that intention that that grounding cord is a maximum suction. So it's going to be drawing out any energy that isn't serving us, that isn't aligned for us anymore. And we're going to open up our Viracocha, so placing those hands in the heart chakra, raising it up into the eighth chakra and pulling that Viracocha down and around us, seeing it close beneath our feet. Giving our body full permission to release any and all energies that aren't serving our highest and best. Visualizing our body releasing down into that grounding cord. We're going to clear our aura before we start. So you can just visualize taking a look around you. Your aura or your luminous energy field is about arms length distance around you in all directions. So you can visualize smoothing that out, clearing that down, attaching your luminous energy field to that grounding cord, allowing that grounding cord to suck and pull out any energies in your aura that aren't serving you. And as our energy is being cleared and grounded, we're going to go ahead and decide where we want to send our first Seki line. And again, this cord, this energy cord, we're going to share information and we're also going to share energy. So I'm really feeling called to connect with NT Taiti. I could use a little kick in the butt coffee without coffee start this morning. So I'm going to send my Seki line to the sun. Just intention and visualization is the most important parts here. And with your breath, you're going to send that second line. Seeing that second line connect, we're going to start with our first fire breath. So if we were doing this formally, we would be raising our arms above our head with our hands, Charlie Angel style, up in the air. But we're going to do it informally today with the hands resting open, palms up in the lap. We're going to take a nice cleansing breath first. Three breaths is one, and then fire breath. Using that abdomen to force out that breath, allowing that inhale to be passive. Seeing and visualizing that energy from NT Tai T coming down that second line into the body as we continue that bellows breath. Releasing that breath, taking a cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Three breaths is one, and then holding the breath. Holding the breath as long as you feel comfortable. 
kegeling, visualizing, drawing in the energy from the sun. Holding your breath as long as you feel comfortable. Releasing the breath, releasing the secchi line. Taking a cleansing breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And now we're gonna send the secchi line to a body of water. We'll connect with any mama kocha that feels um, calling to you in this moment. I feel called to the waters around Maui for some reason. So I'm gonna be blowing a second line out into the ocean around the island of Maui. So pick your place wherever you're gonna send your second line to a beautiful body of water. This could be a sacred lake, an ocean, a sea, a river visualizing and sending that with your breath now. Seeing that connection be made. We're gonna take a cleansing breath. We're gonna take three breaths as one. And then we're gonna move into that bellows breathing for about 30 seconds. Taking the cleansing breath. Exhaling. Three breaths as one. Cleansing breath. We're gonna take three breaths as one, and then we're gonna hold our breath as long as it feels comfortable while kegeling, drawing in the energy from that sacred mama kocha. Releasing when it no longer feels comfortable to hold. As you release the breath, releasing the secchi line from that place wherever you sent it. Releasing that line, seeing that line dissolve and release. Where's another place you'd want to send a secchi line? We're going to do one more round. You can send it to a place on the earth. You can send it to a place in the cosmos. Wherever you want to send it, visualizing it, sending it now with your breath. Taking a cleansing breath. Three breaths is one, and then Bellows breath. Cleansing breath. Three breaths is one and hold while kegeling.
Releasing the breath when it no longer feels comfortable. Releasing the secchi line. Seeing that be closed, released, dissolved. Noticing in those moments where we are holding our breath, beautiful stillness, the beautiful silence, the beautiful connection that can be found in that stillness, in that quiet place. We've flooded our blood with oxygen. We've created space in our mind and in our field. We've sourced energy from places. We've released what no longer serves us. We've cleared our energy field, our physical bodies. Now we're gonna fill back in with whatever we release. We're gonna create a golden sun, a golden orb above our heads. Calling back all of our energy, all of our power, all of our consciousness, all of our awareness from all of the places where we've given it away, willingly and unwillingly where it's been taken and left, calling it all back into that golden sun. And filling that golden sun with whatever it is that you need in this moment, whether that be unconditional love, groundedness, authenticity, safety, whatever it is, filling it up, Raising the vibration of that golden sun, the highest frequency that you can hold, the highest frequency that will serve you, and the highest and best of all involved, and then bringing that beautiful illuminated download into your energy field, seeing that golden sun come into your crown and into your field until it's slowly completely integrated until you're literally vibrating this golden frequency, this high vibrational frequency of light that is alignment, that is safety, that is unconditional love, that is your power. Thanking your angels, your guides, the ancestors for the protection they provide for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Oh. Oh. Hopefully that feels super juicy.